Hello students. Welcome to our chapter Conditional Statements in Python where we will be diving deeper into Python and learn about interesting topics like control structures, identification and of course conditional statements in great detail. So, let's begin. Now, there are several circumstances where you might need to alter your choice or make a different choice based on the circumstances surrounding you. For instance, have you ever chosen to stay home and watch TV if it rains instead of going out? In programming also, decisions are made when the program has conditional choices to execute a code block. Let's take an example of traffic signals. When different colors of lights are lit up in different situations based on the conditions of the road or a specific rule. Let us start learning about programming with control structures. The order of execution of the statements in a program is known as the flow of control. The flow of control can be implemented using control structures. There are three basic control structures. The first is sequential. When the program is executed line by line, that is from the first line to the second line, then from the second line to the third line and so on, it is called sequential control. All the programs that we have learned till now are based on sequential control. In the sequential control or mechanism, all the program statements are executed one after another. The second basic control structure is conditional. A conditional control structure tells the program what act to take based on a certain condition. If, if else and nested if else come under this structure. The third and last is repetitive. The loop control structure enables a program to perform one or more actions repeatedly as long as a certain condition is met. We will discuss conditional control structures in detail after understanding the need for indentation in Python. So, let's learn about indentation now. The spaces or tabs that are white spaces given at the beginning of the lines are called indentation. In Python, indentation is required for indicating what block of code a statement belongs to. Indentation is provided to determine the level of a logical line, which in turn is used to determine the grouping of statements. It means statements that go together must have the same indentation. Each such statement is called a block. The enforcement of indentation in Python makes the code look neat and clean. Also, statements within the same block of code need to be indented at the same level. Let's now understand the need for conditional control structures. We have a number of situations where we may have to change the order of execution of statements based on certain conditions. This involves a kind of decision making to see whether a particular condition has occurred or not and then direct the computer to execute certain statements accordingly. Here are a few scenarios where decision making is needed. For example, a student has 10 rupees to buy a pen. On visiting the stationery shop, there are a variety of pens priced at 10 rupees each. Here, the student has to decide which pen to buy. Sometimes, when we want to play Ludo on our phone when it's a Sunday. Sometimes, we order ice cream online if the day is sunny. Sometimes, we go cycling together with friends. So, in programming, this concept of decision-making or selection is implemented with the help of conditional statements. In Python, there are three types of conditional statements. The if statement, if else statement and if elif statement. Conditional statements evaluate expressions which produce true or false as an outcome. You need to determine which action to take and which statements to execute if the outcome is true or false otherwise. Let us learn more about each of the three types. The if statement is the first condition statement. It contains the set of statements that are to be executed only when the condition is true. 
here is the syntax if condition body of if this flowchart shows the execution process of the if statement if the given condition is true then the body of if will be executed if the given condition is false then the body of if will not be executed here is an example of a program to check if the given number is greater than 10 here we will see that the condition evaluates to true therefore the print statement is executed let's look at another example in this example the condition evaluates to be false therefore the print statement was not executed and the only statement that got executed was print if block ended because it was outside the if block now taking a third example in this we see that the condition a is equal to is equal to b evaluates to true therefore the block of code inside the if statement is executed let's move further with the if else statement now the if else statement checks the expression and executes the if block when the expression is true otherwise it will execute the else block of code the else block should be right after the if block and it is executed when the expression is false this is the syntax if condition statement else statement let's look at an example now here we see that the condition a is greater than b evaluates to false therefore the block code inside the else statement is executed moving on to if elif statement in python we have an elif keyword to chain multiple conditions one after another with the elif ladder we can make complex decision making statements the elif statement helps you to check multiple expressions and it executes the code as soon as one of the conditions evaluates to true here is the syntax Let's look at the example now. In this, the first condition choice will is equal to 1 is false. So, the second condition choice is equal is equal to written in the elif statement is checked. Since this and the condition is true, the statement written below the second elif statement using tab indentation is executed and the output is printed on the screen. Let's quickly look at the single statement condition in Python. If you need to execute a single statement under if, you can write it in the same line as given in the below example. Lastly in our chapter, let's look at solved Python programs. Let us learn more about programming with the following solved examples. Question 1 is to write a Python program that takes in the age of the person as an input and checks whether a person is eligible to vote or not. This is a simple if-else example in Python. Here, we will input the age of the person by using input bracket function and convert the entered age value to an integer by using int bracket function. Then, we will check for the condition whether the age is greater than or equal to 18 or not. If the age is greater than or equal to 18, the person will be eligible for voting. Question 2 is, write a Python program that takes an input 3 integer numbers and then displays the largest of them using nested if else in Python. Question 3 is to write a Python program to input some amount and calculate the discount based on the amount and given discount rate in Python. The discount rates are as follows. Let's see the program and then the output. And finally, question 4 is to design a calculator application that will perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations using Python. Let's see its program and look, the output is ready. So that, students, is all we will be learning through our chapter today. I hope you all have learned enough to begin experimenting and exploring this concept in Python on your own. See you next time. Bye-bye.